Hi viewers, in this video we will see how to draw the equivalent circuit of a auto transformer. The prerequisites are, you should know the working of two winding transformer, you should know the working of uh, auto transformer and you should have an idea of equivalent circuit of a two winding transformer. In an auto transformer we know that a part of the winding which is common for both primary and secondary. In this figure the, the section BC is common for both primary and secondary winding. When the winding AC is excited with the alternating supply, a current I1 flows from A to C. As per the working principle of auto transformer, we know that there exists a transform action between the winding AB and BC. The difference of current I2 minus I1 flows through load from C to B. The winding AC will act as a primary. The winding BC will act as a secondary winding. The MMF produced by the section AB is equal to the MMF produced by the section BC. As there exists a transformer action between the winding AB and BC. The auto transformer is represented in the form of two winding transformer as there exists a transformer action between the winding AB and BC. Here the AB will act as an, a primary winding and BC will act as a secondary winding. The voltage across the winding AB is equal to V1 minus V2. That is the voltage which is shown across the section AB. Similarly, the voltage across BC is equal to V2, the same voltage is shown across the secondary winding. The current flowing through the section AB is I1 and the current flowing through the section BC is I2 minus I1, where I2 minus I1 is shown on the secondary side. Now we need to represent the number of windings in section AB and BC. We know that the total number of turns in section AC is equal to N1 and the number of turns in the section BC is equal to N2. Now the number of turns in BC is shown as N2. The number of turns in section AB is equal to total number of turns minus the number of turns in section BC that is N1 minus N2. Here we are going to show the number of turns as N1 minus N2. The transformation ratio of conventional transformer is given by N2 by N1. Now we need to derive the transformation ratio for this transformer. The transformation ratio in other words it can be written as the number of turns on the secondary side divided by number of turns on the primary side. For an auto transformer the transformation ratio is represented as KAT. KAT is equal to number of turns on the secondary side is N2 and the number of turns on the primary side is N1 minus N2. Let me divide the numerator and the denominator with N1. As N2 by N1 is equal to K. This is an equivalent circuit of an auto transformer before shifting. But we need to consider the number of turns on the primary side as N1 minus N2. And the number of turns on the secondary side as N2. Here R1 and X1 are the resistance of the primary and the reactance of the primary circuit. R2 dash and x2 dash are the resistance and the reactance of the secondary circuit referred to the primary. Before shifting the resistance R2 to the primary circuit, we should make sure that it should produce same effect before and after shifting. That is the losses obtained when the R2 present in the secondary side is R2 into I2 square that should be equivalent to I1 square into R2 dash. So rewriting the above equation R2 dash is equal to R2 where K is equal to transformation ratio and that is given by the ratio of I1 by I2. But in auto transformer the transformation ratio N2 by N1 minus N2 is given by K divided by 1 minus K. It was derived in earlier slide. In conventional 
2 winding transformer R2 dash is given by R2 dash is equal to R2 divided by K square. The same thing is applicable here. The same formula will hold good for auto transformer. Here it has written as R2 dash is equal to R2 by K square where K is nothing but N2 by N1 minus N2. X2 dash is equal to X2 by K square where K is N2 divided by N1 minus N2. After shifting, the equivalent resistance referred to primary RE1 is given by RE1 is equal to R1 plus R2 dash. Similarly, XE1 is equal to X1 plus X2 dash. When V2 is shifted to the primary side, it will become V2 dash is given by V2 into number of turns on the primary side divided by number of turns on the secondary side. Now we will shift R2, X2 and V2 to the primary circuit and you need to remember that the voltage applied across the winding is V1 minus V2. Now the voltage across the primary winding is V1 minus V2. V2 is written as V2 dash. Applying Kitchen's voltage law for this circuit. That is, this is the direction assumed and these are the polarities. Writing the voltage equation. The drop across the first element is I1 R1. Drop across the second element is I1 X1. Drop across the third element is I1 R2 dash. Drop across the fourth element is I1 into X2 dash. Next we entered into a positive of V2 dash. Next we entered into a negative of V1 minus V2 that is equal to 0. Simplifying the above equation, taking I1 as common. Let me call this as equation number 1. Writing R2 dash in the form of auto transformer transformation ratio as. Similarly, writing X2 dash secondary voltage in terms of primary voltage that is V2 dash can be written as. Substituting R2 dash, X2 dash, I2 dash in equation number 1. And simplifying this. V2 and V2 will get cancelled. This will be our final equation. This is our complete equation which represents the auto transformer. This is equivalent circuit of an auto transformer where this is RE1, where this is XE1 and this is V2 by K and the voltage across input is V1, R0, X0 and the current flowing is I0. This is the final equivalent circuit of an auto transformer.